I say so. Like you've seen the bottle of gin, the new bottle of gin. Yeah, I've seen the new bottle. I think I saw it on Twitter. Oh yeah, and someone also posted on uh, on Facebook. Mm. So I'm like, why are these guys <laughs> deciding <laughs> to put the um, the spirit to put the spirit in bottle? <laughs> The spirits in bottles. Yes, yeah. like uh, in earth, I don't know I actually thought Kuda, they're making another spirit cool. I'm going to you know. Yes, I thought, for me, I thought it's just a gin flavor type of drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that it's the actual gin. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually decided to put the genie in the bottle. I'm like, you get that? Uh, the gin, get yeah, that? <laughs> maybe you have to, to rub it yeah. and then it comes out. Then yeah, you drink it. So. <laughs> Hey, yeah, but then like, to yeah. me, I was concerned. I'm like, this is a sippy bottle. Yeah, yes. I don't know if I'm making sense. Mm-hmm. It's a sipping bottle. It's a sipping bottle. You know, yes. mm. you have to, you know, be drinking like that. Now, they're taking Malawi gin, which is 43%, mm-hmm. somewhere there, uh, 43 or 40. Is it 40? 43. From 40 to 43, somewhere yes. there. Yes. You see? Now, you have to be sipping on that. On a si- <laughs> <laughs> Are they trying to kill us? Ish, yes. I say, let's not get carried away. Let's introduce the soul. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Podcast Malawi, the best, the most happening podcast in the land. Oh, yes. You're with me, the one and only Brandon Jones, and I'm with the biggest, the best, the DJ Khaled, Top G. the John Cena, <laughs> the whatever, whatever, Benson. Thank you How so much. How you doing, much. my guy? I'm good, man, and I'm happy to be here. Yo. Yeah, man. I say now, so like I'm happy. Plus, never as much as I tweeted, I just went and cry. Ah, boys in the No, I, 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 I would never have boys in the No, no, no. I mean, no one can say. I mean, you were. No one can say crap like you? that. First of, all, <laughs> for, <laughs> first of all, I'm gonna find out where they stay, mm-hmm. and I'll be like, "What did you say on that Twitter post?" <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm yeah. just kidding, but um, I think I believe um, we're gonna do just fine. Good. Yeah. Also, every true juggle has a little bit of lo- little bit of truth in it. Uh yeah. Nah. <laughs> you know, uh, I remember one time when uh, they picked Trevor Noah. Yeah. For the Daily Show. Yes, 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 yes. My and, first days. Uh, like, some yeah, people yeah. were saying some crap about him, and mm. then, you know, he went to Dubai. So when they announced, like when they announced he was in Dubai, mm-hmm. so he said, "I hear some people are complaining about the choice they made to put me here," mm. but then. I understand. It's okay. It's okay. But uh, all I can say is that in this world that we're living in, there are people that say that Beyonce can't sing. Yeah. So hey, that was it's bars. okay. That was bars. <laughs> hey. so, yeah. Oh, yeah. True, true. Um, so, yeah, you can have some people be like, oh, I know. Yeah, because da, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, it started with our guy. Can I go jail? Mm. Uh, is it Dennis took over? Yeah, I mean, man, the, yeah, the brand is growing. Yeah. So we have to understand if when the uh, a brand is growing, my changes, I'm in low Some other changes, I'm in the in the wrong land. You say, ah, my, this was not supposed to be done. We were supposed to do this. And it's a, it's a learning process at the end of the day. Yeah, man. So uh, I think growth, it, as far as growth is concerned, mm-hmm. uh, that's where so we have problems in the industry, Malawian industry in general. Yeah. Beat music, beat industrialization. We have that problem where, um, yeah, uh, maybe it's because we enjoy the comfort zone. I mean, is it? You know, oh, yeah. you'd, you'd say so because snack. I mean, you've been in the music industry. You didn't specify about the music industry, did you? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> and then they also music industry. Well, boy, since yeah, but we're there, since we're there, let's, let's just, talk about it. I think out of my observation, it's because uh, people like getting used to how they do certain things a certain way. Yeah. So when you try to bring something different, they resist it and they're like, yeah. no, this is how we do it. Yeah, bada-bim, bada-bim. Yeah. So I remember when um I can just go back when uh Ajina Guamba came into the industry and yeah. they're like, you know what, we're just gonna be spitting rap in GJ. Yeah, well, yeah, A lot yeah. of people they're like, no, uh, you don't know how to speak English. Yeah, you didn't finish college. Yeah, it's like yeah. I don't give a crap about what you say. This no, is what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm not saying what you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's so the point. Besides, they did their thing and they changed the game. Yeah. So yeah, to change the game, my point is when you want to change the game, you're gonna face some resistance. And yeah. but then at the same time, when you wanna have something you have never had, yeah. you have to do something you have never done. Yeah. Is that what they say? <laughs> Maybe that's what you say when you bend some. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I think you know what I've observed. I, I think these these are just thoughts that run around my head. Um, we are too focused on being the international brand. 
uh, to a point where we forget where we are. Yeah? So, Muntu Rum Sunday 2, Mufuno Kaindi degree. Doesn't make sense, does it? It's, it's, not too, it's not bad to be ambitious. But I think if your own ghetto, your own people from your, the, the same street do not know you, how are you going to convince somebody from, you know, without even a wife? So I think, why now, this is what I've seen, more especially the music industry. It's, Tima um, Kandiga focus on what we have as Malawians, what Malawians will consume. Because at the end of the day, we call these people ex- export. Ed, what are, why are we exporting something that you don't even know how it tests? Ed, uh, I should be able to go out there and say, ah, let's say, for example, you're a rapper. I should be uh, comfortable to say, good, ah, Ben Sam, a rapper, ABCD, and somebody from, say, SA, or the U.S. should come and say, hey, we know Ben Sam, he's from Malawi. Oh, he's your guy. One of those things. All right. Let me ask you a question. Mm. Let's say I'm a rapper, yes. right? Yes. Are you a rapper? No, no, no. This is a... <laughs> yes. Is a Just to make hypo- sure. Because you're everything. You're everything. <laughs> you're a rapper. I mean, you're, you're a camera guy. You're yeah. a fitness, uh, fitness, fitness junkie. An junkie. actor. Yes, yes. Um, everything. Maybe you're a rapper on the side. Rapper or I'm just an executive producer. But anyway, <laughs> okay. back to the issue at hand. Yes. So um, let's just say I do rap and you want to make me a big artist. What would you do? Uh, first of all, <laughs> it wouldn't be as... You want to make me as, a, big as, as, as big as possible. As an international artist. Yes. What would I do? What are the things you would do right? Okay. So first of all, when it comes to rap, it, it's a dirty game. Mm-hmm. Rap is politics. M- music in general is politics. Ed. Okay, my point is, if you want to fix a problem, mm. it means you know what the problem is. Yes. So here we're in a space where our music is not really going out there, out right? There, yes. So we know that's the problem. Mm. So if you were to... Manage Benson, the rapper. Yes. To make me big. Make me out there that in bigger South than, people be talking bigger about. than this. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So first of all, I think I yeah. uh, would uh, focus. Many many Lamujori. We mm. have to grow that. You know, uh, brand Malawi. Okay. So you would want me to be famous in Kawali. Um, Not famous per se, but you have to as be as big in Malawi. Okay. To a point where these big corporate uh, institutions would be comfortable to say mm. Bensam represent our organization. Okay. From there, we can see, you know, people. Let's get in my organization, Nagori, R&D, my sister, uh, branches in, say, Zambia, mm. where Kenya, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So, and Hajarin, my ambassadors out. Next thing you know, whatever is going on out there, when something is going, representing the brand in Malawi. Okay. Now, this is open, not only op- opening doors for uh, this organization, but also this person as an artist. Ed, mm-hmm. now the problem that like I see mostly is, as an artist, to my friend, kind of management. And that's where the first problem is. We do not know what management is. What is managing an artist? You know? Mm. Um, artist, I'm being managed is being given money. Komano, if you go back to school, if you're managing a company, you're only managing the resources that are there. So this artist, as an artist, has to have resources. Well, okay, let me let me jump there. Let me jump into the issue. You know, when it comes to being big, right? Yes. <laughs> there are people that are big in other countries and they're not big in their own country. So like um, the analogy of uh, uh, a prophet is never respecting their own home, yeah. right? So, managing person, he might be the biggest in Zambia, mm-hmm. but never be the biggest here. And then people catch up. I think we've, we've heard of those things. We've, yeah, we've seen those things. One of them can't be my genetic factors. Like, first of all, it would be, I'll give you an example of Akon. Akon became big in the US. Because he basically grew up in the, in the US. Mm-hmm. And and how good he is from Ghana, right? Is it Senegal? Yeah, Senegal, yes. And how many of you to catch up? Not because some of them but because he made it kunja wayani kwa seneko. So, but my fact is I'm being big. The guy in prophet yo tika so tukuna ma because so kubanga respect doesn't mean you're not big. So kubanga respect yo is coming in because I've seen Ben Sam. I say I've grown up with this guy. We've interacted before. Hey, that's exactly his point. 
yes. that people who are who have known you are closer uh, uh, that are closer to you they don't really give you that respect uh, yeah. now, the prop, status, the status yeah, that you have you know, that's the pro- yeah. that, that's where i was going now the problem is uh when we are growing this brand in music this is what i see in music to grow the marketing side of it was i've seen big artists uh, yeah big not as big as they have to be but big in our faces mm-hmm. you know Ali be into basic necessities. Yet. Chifo ya kuti now management company ja is only focused on the marketing side of this guy. As a brand, ndi marketing yao akone ka shapo. As a person, zero. Don't you think that um our artist Jambenga basically in Malawi are failing to grow because now they are not growing as uh the artist and and the person. Kabena I should say kuti the outlook is amazing but them as an individual cannot cannot can, can can that be one of the reasons why uh, these artists are not uh, are not are not growing as big as they should have gone most of the music areas in malawi have never been self sustaining mm-hmm. if you look at if out of 100% let's just take the population of musicians in malawi as 100% yeah probably 9 between 9 to 12% the artists that can actually live off music music yeah you know mm. out probably, of the 100% yes out of the 100% mm. the rest as you said they probably live with their mom mm. or maybe they have a job yes as an accountant somewhere mm. you know mm. <laughs> uh, or Are you, you know oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i i didn't know he does account <laughs> i'm learning now but yeah as a so that's the thing um i've been around a lot of artists to see could you know as big as they were mm. they really couldn't sustain themselves yeah yeah you know so so i had been asking myself that question for a long time could you how can one actually say you know what i'm a 100% musician so as much as most of these artists have been successful you know mm. they have only sustained themselves because they have another hustle something else that's going on yes oh, okay so probably the other hustle is able to 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 finance the, the music, music as well yes you know? yes yes uh, yes right. i could mention a number of no, names no, no. <laughs> do you want me to call out some musicians right no, now no don't call out <laughs> <laughs> no, call out no it's not know. wrong i would, i've done the same thing yeah. uh, when i was um and most of the times i was uh, uh when i was doing the promotions yeah, yeah. for music videos for my guys i've worked with with bless for some time yeah. same thing i could get money from my hustles do some yeah. stuff for us mm. you know until they started making money from shows yeah. but as of now also he makes money from music mm-hmm. but he has good things that are going on yeah, to yeah i remember to I keep going him. yeah yeah i make you see? Him, yeah so basically for most artists that's the thing so like um any other industry okay i look at the music industry as a as a country let's say yeah. this is a kamalawi industry kamalawi <laughs> ndiga country kanyimbo <laughs> yeah. we have our own currency of um value of artists mm. and value of music if you go to south africa they also have their own value and the value mm. your artists are only value your music yeah. go to nigeria yeah. so the currency are value of music in malawi is so low mm-hmm. mm. Hmm. It's so low that we cannot trade well with oh, other countries. Ah, uh, okay. So meaning to say good even so my policies are to financial policies yes, have uh, so a part to play. Apart from that the turnover hmm. from other means yeah is just not it. Look, yeah. if an artist is not doing shows the next best way to make money is loyalties. Hmm. Shows or maybe loyalties. Yeah. This is a country of about 18 Is it 19 19 million people? Yeah. Somewhere you know? around there, yeah. And we have so many companies and if you look at artists which are affiliated to companies uh, they're just a handful. Yeah, some of the guys. Right? Really. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the things you need to consider. Now, yeah. This is a country <coughs> of about 19 million people. Ugachuka wachuka kwantu angat. 
19 million okay fine <laughs> let's watch them all you say let's yeah, yeah, just say 18 yeah. to yeah. they know you they yes. heard about you you know mm. now let's go to nigeria how many people do we have in nigeria hey, what was the population in nigeria about 180 million about i'm about, using about there, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, we are, we let's go to south mm. south is between 60 to 70 i'm not sure right now yeah people are reproducing so much right. uh fuck checker Nigeria is how much? 213. 200. 213 million. As of 2021. Last time I checked it was around 180. <laughs> People have been fucking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I think this but come on, we don't we don't have to be, you know. I don't even know what it is to do. Yeah. But anyway. Procreation, eh? Anyway, back to the issue. Uh here's the thing. Yes. Panoba especially in the the modern world internet streaming and whatever youtube yeah, yeah. people making money off those uh, streaming uh, sites the sites mm. you now if you are got a blower is it 200 million 200 million you see they don't got actually probably and coming out with is 150 to 170 really some out there so if everyone is streaming a over second drama you're going to make a lot of money yes You see, just like that. That's why the closer kid was unknown until he brought that song closer. Yeah. Now he's a rich yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. 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 I knew that motherfucker. <laughs> <I did. laughs> no, he's I, been around. I have, good, I have until, a good year for music. Yes, I know I the guy get, too. But I get what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So until that song, now everything changed. He's rich, rich, rich. Now he can brush shoulders with Davido, yeah. Ibanj, and the other guys. You see? Yeah. So mm. my point is. Um, We cannot really trade in my country is agonja because kunoga we don't really look Value if i really have to do the wagonja what am i going to benefit from it why should i consume, consume from music you, you know? from yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so mm. look you come to malawi you look at an artist of malawi my followers yeah go on his instagram you look at the followers well 100 something okay fine mm. 150 they're excited about 150 <laughs> thousand followers <laughs> now go to the basic artist in nigeria check out the followers mm. this guy's five million They and have. he's just an okay artist yes just okay. an okay artist right so mm. the, like let me let, let me let, let's go back to the malawi gene that we were talking about would you say lifestyle so my artist in my bank so my guy so they're making okay money malawi wise as the industry yet yeah? they're making okay money but then lifestyle in the menoxo one so if uh, maybe alcoholism humanizing uh, poor uh, management of uh, fans is that also uh, one of the things that would uh, affect a person to be a big brand it could because i've been around long enough to know that mm. being rich is not the amount of money that you got mm. but your mindset mm. so uh, uh, are you are you rich me no i'm not rich oh, you have the poor uh, mindset <laughs> no but being broke is temporary my guy yeah, so it is. yeah it is. thank you so, so it's being rich can be temporary right? <laughs> okay. so being rich can be temporary so I yeah so that's um, um yeah. <laughs> it's so for an artist sort of one go hita and go based on drama because why hita he can be poor again yeah. unless his mindset is yes. on that level where he's like and okay and okay, the money system. this money i'll spend and on fun this money i'm going to put in real estate or whatever you know yeah. yeah you can look at mayweather mayweather he doesn't box anymore but you know that guy is going to be poor money. again he's got a lot of money because during his prime time he made use of his money so well mm-hmm. you see so moving on um we we also mentioned about the south african music industry yeah yeah uh there's been this sad news i say one of my favorite card boys yeah the super, super maker, maker yeah bro ah uh, that news like the news broke me like for real for real no everyone has been sad about it mm. malawians um i've i've been around i've been in uh, my whatsapp groups among yeah. artists and uh, entertainers mm. everybody was shook about the issue you yeah. know mm. uh that day i remember when i woke up in the morning social media statuses yeah. just pictures of okay. that a tragic incident yeah. you know so uh it's very unfortunate it went down like that because the first time i saw it was on migos They're like ah this trolls so I, mm. you look at your phone 
Like I have these trolls. Yeah, me, I at first I'm like, it could be satire. And then I had to Google it up. I looked it up. So many websites were already talking about it. That's when I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Le- okay. Cool. Lose Le- let's not be emotional about it. <clears throat> Did you watch the memorial service? <laughs> no, I couldn't. Oh yeah. I a lot of people who know me, they know I haven't I picked a side. Yeah. I'm a cast when you're fan. Ah. Uh, Don't catch feelings. I'm not catching any. Because, okay, the yeah. only feelings I have is Super Mega is gone. But then, Super Mega has been huge. It's just that I picked the side. Mm. And also, if you have, it's like the Tom and Jerry situation. Yeah. They all needed each other. Yeah, 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 true. They needed someone to challenge, to compete with. Yeah. To, you know, so that competition level, br- yeah, it pushed yeah, yeah. it. And uh, it, it also pushed, pushed the, the South yeah. African. Uh, music yeah, industry. So you always need someone to, you know, to keep you on your feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, after this, I don't know, man. It's a sad, sad situation. Uh, but we have young cats there. So, like, the memory of service, you know, what I picked up was um, the industry is huge there, man. Mm-hmm. And how do we bring the love for arts to parents in Malawi? Because we've seen they approved of what he was doing and they were happy what he was doing it you know yeah but uh, in so many advanced countries they know how much money the entertainment industry has mm. you know yeah. yeah so and also being a guy who has been around for the longest time even way before Casper was just a dancer yeah, you know Casper used, yeah, used to just break dance yeah dance for double hp before yeah. he could actually start making music he was just a dancer doing the jika magica shows yeah, yeah. yeah so aka was there making hits already mm. then he moved in he got a spot yeah. and he brought some competition so yeah here we are but uh, the inc- i saw the videos uh, there's a video that leaked about um the shooting mm. uh, when they finished their dinner situation, they went outside. Yeah, and then people are speculating that maybe friends were involved. Yeah, but, yeah they yeah. must have planned it out. Yeah, they, some tabloids are saying maybe uh, the maybe ex. The, yes. the 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 ex situation yeah, yeah, when yeah. he lost the girlfriend because yeah. some people think maybe he had a hand in it. Yeah, 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 people think maybe it was so a clean was suicide situation. Yeah, yeah, true, yeah. yeah. It's, it's so some very, people think the father of the lady must have had something to do with it. Yeah. What do you think? I remember one time we were on the WhatsApp group. Uh, we were. I was just. I always try to put, to put humor even in a bad situation. Yeah. So I'm like, you know what? Probably is one of his exes mm. after seeing that they, he's having a good time with Nadia. Yes. So yes, yes. for example, I'm an ex. Mm. I'll be I'll sit there thinking, hmm, the ex, the other ex-girlfriend is late. Yeah. And there's already a motive if he was to die. Yeah. So it means if I can if, even get if him I killed, yeah. people would think yeah. it's this guy. Yeah, true. You know, for example, family. Yeah. Okay, look at this situation. Uh we're brothers. Mm. We stay together. Mm. And over a weekend, you bring over a friend. Yeah. And he comes on a Friday and on a Sunday he goes back. Mm. And my money goes missing. Yeah. Who's going to be the suspect? The one that's, that's left. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. You could steal the money, but we would just think maybe it's the friend. Yeah. Because true, 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 all true. this other time money was always there. Was there. Yeah, so yeah. this is a situation whereby people would automatically think, hmm. Upon go zero, but he's been bitter about it. <laughs> because, like, well, you know, yeah, 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 true. Because people are like, no, he shouldn't have gone to Durban because that's where the lady yeah, was coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. So it's crazy. But all these are speculations and the case is under investigation. Yeah. Let's wait Let's and wait see what transpires. Because also, 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 also the friends is uh, the friend who was with him at the part. Uh, Don't at the, design. He's being implicated with Imina because according to his body language was, <laughs> was weird. <laughs> uh, he was on the phone and it was like, oh. <laughs> Don't decide. <laughs> 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 That's a lot of person. So, yeah. yeah. So, all I can say is there's a lot of speculations. Mm-hmm. People think this, people think that. And we're all bitter about it. And I've seen situations where when we lose a loved one, 
We always want to find someone to blame. To blame and yeah. as much as there is someone we need to blame, but we're not so sure who yeah. is who. Yes, yeah, true. I think true. that's mostly what I can say. And um, my worry is that um, if you go back to the beef between Tupac and Biggie, mm. when Big was shot later, ah, uh, sorry, when Tupac was shot and then later Big was killed as well. Yeah. Like just to balance the equation. Yeah. So I'm like, hmm, AKA has been killed and. Who's What's going to happen to Casper? Is yeah. he in danger? You know what could I mean? Could be. It could be. Yeah, and he has, he has doubled his security because of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, because mm. I heard with him as well. He did a wanga double. Uh, the mm. MT is on I. What he, what's his deal? But okay, let's not talk about MT. But the most worrying mm. thing to mm. me yet yeah. was um, Nadia and AK went to the US. They went on vacation. It was beautiful. And mm. February being the month of love, my guy. I got on one day. I'm already in February. The month of love. Can I go on taking in March? Ah, yeah. So just, just consider the guy. Mm. You, do, just, you, you don't do, do, you don't do February love. You do realize these guys were already paid, right? Yeah, I mean, come on, drama is No, I'm looking at the situation. <laughs> I'm looking the at hitman. the situation from the <laughs> yes. hitman's perspective. <laughs> I just got paid, bro. I just got paid, man. <laughs> uh, and I know it's not it's the, right to make fun of this, yeah, but. I mean, come. Zadi Gwagale, anyway, uh, yeah. well, I think I believe uh, the Hitman uh, is one for men's conference. <laughs> men's conference. <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so you. Ah no, I don't think men's conference is uh, is for people who don't really like the Valentine situation. But I think initially when they were starting yeah, uh-huh. the situation and Tamango Bwere. Uh, they used it as a scapegoat. Yes. Uh, we're inviting you to a men's conference, men's conference. which is starting on the the thirteenth and it's going to finish the 16th. at the sixteenth <laughs> at an at an disclosed location. location ah, yes, guys. yes. Like, is it? Mm. But who came up with the idea? The first one has it been there? Like, could he maybe be there's there was really a men's conference sometime. I, I hear there's an international man's day. I don't know something like that. Komano men's conference. Zoom in the bunch. Uh, I think just like uh, the association for uh, for 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 broke fellas, I'm a Jan. Smam is it? Smam, eh? Yeah, that association. Oh, thing you. The Stingy, Stingy Man Association. association of yes. The oh yeah. So Tiger was the ambassador for Smam, yeah. Uh, no. Before we go Maybe? there. Okay, okay, so right. I don't uh, know. He, <laughs> he posted his ID, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just stating facts. Uh, so um, just I think many in Kayamba so the Stingy Man Association. Mm. Someone just came up with it as yes, an idea. Mm. But I think some people were actually getting together, you know. Men were ganging up, be like, you yeah. know what, we can't just be spending so much money on these ladies, mm. you know. Mm. They need to deserve it. Yeah. You see? So the same with the 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 the, the, the men's conference. I yeah. think initially people joked about it and then people were like, hold up, wait a minute. It's an idea. If men can actually be getting together. <laughs> yeah. And be discussing things yeah. about men, such as men to help, or, or, some money maker on Twitter. After around the Magwari Dozama donor aids the mumu, I know that these donors give them a, a proper concept note. Mm. They give you. They're going to give you money. Yeah, it's doable, but mm-hmm. most of the agendas <laughs> they, 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 they're for the ladies. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I'm saying so because uh. I have actually attended a men's conference. Oh yeah, yeah. What year was that? Um, probably somewhere in twenty twenty, if I'm not wrong. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty or twenty twenty one? No, no, twenty twenty. Yeah, I think. But like people in twenty twenty were like had nothing to do. There's corona everywhere. No, people could just meet up. Twenty nineteen. That's when corona was everywhere. In the name, in the name of men's conference, just to drink alcohol. Uh, no, mm. it wasn't like. People were not drinking, but we we had to gang up a little bit. So <laughs> we go together, and I'm gonna snitch. I'm sorry, guys. Don't get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill this me. one's a snitch. Come on, what, uh, what can you do to this one? <laughs> <laughs> you should see. You should see the people at my gym. <laughs> I look so small. Also, your gym people at the men's conference. Okay, cool. We're no, getting no, somewhere. No, no, no. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> no, you talked about my size, so okay. I'm trying All to right. refer to that. But anyway, my point is, we gathered up. Mm. Uh, at some place yes. which we agreed okay guys let's meet let's up we had drinks we had food 
it's, and we talked about some issues. And, and um, I think one of the main subjects was the mental health, situ- the mental health situation. Yeah. Why a lot of men are suffering from that. Mm. Uh, why we, the suicide rate is so high. Uh, In regards to men than women. Yes, yes, mm. yes, yes. Because yes. um, it seems like girls are so lazy at killing themselves. <laughs> You know? <laughs> this one is an exact opposite <laughs> of a feminist. You're a menace, bruh. If yeah. the, you're a menace, right? Mm, but I'm not a misogynist. I love ladies okay. so much and I respect No, no, no not misogyny, but just a menace. Yeah, but people the, might confuse that. I'm a masculine man. Just that. I'm masculine. I'm, I, I'm a man who acts like a man and behaves like a man and thinks like a man. I'm a man, man that, have, that has muscles. Masculine. This guy, that's what you're saying, basically. He's obsessed with the muscles. He's obsessed with the muscles. Show him off. Here, yeah, but as masculine. I'm just throwing in words. Give me a hoodie. Do, give me a muscles. hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, so uh, basically, you're saying, Guri, we were talking about mental health, which is a, which is a good thing. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. really matter with the and as and as much. It's a good thing. So, where do you think this men's conference is gonna take us? It's a good development, actually. I think men should actually be meeting up from time to time. Mm. But you we know? always do in the bars, bro. You're always talking about soccer. In this case, you're focusing on important stuff like financial management, yeah. mental health, and uh, sex life in families, stuff like that. Like, dude, have you seen how people talk about sex in the bars, bro? Yes, uh, but it's a situation where people think they know about sex when they don't know. And then how do you know that when you meet up, wearing your suit sky, whatever, to look to make it as formal as possible, you're going to talk about that? Because I have friends. Right? Friends, already, they work in big, big Okay, there's so many factors that people need to open up to. Mm. Yeah, so that's the main reason why we should be having men conferences over and over again. Over and over again, you know, yes. Yeah, because... We're in a space where we think we're smarter than ladies when they are, um, and like when we are being outsmart. Yeah. Yeah. So for so many years, my ching dominated my dolo, and men people still think the word my dolo, but this is something <laughs> they need to to be in check. Like, yo, ah, we're no longer my dolo. <laughs> yeah. The Come game on. flipped. Yeah. So mm. since you're saying, could you? So there are the things people should talk about. No, when you guys are doing this, you don't think you're. Oh man, it's stupid. Yeah. They're just playing dumb. Yeah. So you're better. Man up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, yeah. this man yeah. knows this information from a, from a woman. Right? This one that's saying, if you think uh, you're doing this, you're smaller than the lady. No, here's the, Okay, let me give you a just, situation. Yeah. You can have a girlfriend, which you have. We're not using your girlfriend now. What? Let's say you have a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. You <laughs> have a girlfriend. Yes, you have okay. a girlfriend. And <laughs> yeah. So you have. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you have a girlfriend. <laughs> yes. And then uh, she loves you so much. Mm. So much. And then you've been messing up, messing up, messing up. Yeah. And then you're like, nah, she's always forgiving me. She's not going to go away. Or she's not going to do me dirty. Yes. You get mm. So, because of our ego as men, we yeah. live in that, that bubble. bubble yeah. that, like, ah, you know, now da, da, da. and then she does you dirty because she thinks you deserve it. Mm. And then you find out that's when things go sideways. You, yeah. you go through depression. Mm. You see? Mm-hmm. Because you actually never thought Should something like that can happen. Like that so, yeah. what if you had the, 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 in your head, you'd be like, she can fuck me over. She, like we've I been cannot rule out. All the time. Yes, but you need to have that possibility, that thought in your head that this can happen to me. Mm. You know, yeah. Uh, we so have had men be like, "No, there's no way my chick can leave me." Yeah. And then when she walks up away, then they start this crying. Like, oh, yeah, they start crying. Crying. Okay, so now my my point was, since we say, "Goody, this this uh, these women are smarter than us to some extent." Yeah. Can we involve them now for it to be, you know, as uh, I'm talking about the men's conference. Because yeah, she said, I mean, he says, Dude, my guy, I my door. Here's the thing. So we have to learn from the doors. No, no, no. Let's help ourselves and do Valentine's. No, no. Why we learn? Here's the thing. <laughs> we service women. Yes. Women service us. Okay. So the only way we can be there as we can. Equals, yeah. Not equals, be happy, like, you or know. Or to, like, we, to compliment, coexist, we have to yeah, complement each other, you know? yeah. Mm. So. It means if we have to 
prepare ourselves, become better people, serve them. They also have to prepare themselves. And but we find Udi, we're in a space where we're like, you know what? When the it's like this, we gotta do this. <laughs> so, but we're not supposed to be in a space where it's a competition situation. It's a space where you know the this lady is like this. That's why I like her, mm. and this is what I want. This is what I need. Mm. You know, uh, she can be an accountant who can help you. You can be a engineer. Um, an engineer, yeah. and you can make your money. She can handle your money. Mm. You can get rich together. You know, yeah, situations true. like that are always quite good. But not be like, hmm, she's got money. You know what I'm gonna <laughs> do? I'm gonna do this and get her money. Which is a stupid move. It's a very stupid move. Yeah. So, mm, okay. uh, yeah, but basically, those are the things people need to be talking about. Yeah. So, okay. So, basically, what we are, what we're trying to say is Men's Conference is about mental health and financial management. Not really. All the factors which you can talk about to become better men, Come become on. better people. Basically, those are the two things. No. What else? I also pointed out sex life, which is important yeah, in a relationship. Because if your if your mental health is at par, then you, you perform, bro. What? Because me, me, I'm, I'm I'm good. What? I'm good up here now. I'm what are you saying? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If your mental health is okay, Ed, you're good. Mm-hmm. You're in a very good space. You can satisfy your lady in the bedroom, bro. It goes hand in hand. Come on, Susan. I want to do some guy women's conference. We don't have to. We actually. We actually need to. We actually need to invite. We actually need to invite this gentleman. You want this conference? I've got. I've got the biscuit. No one is talking about. Yeah, Kobano. Okay, so like, um, mostly uh, depression, right? From the things that we read through social media, and humbly, men mostly, uh, depressed because. My finances are terrible, and um, my relationships are terrible. They're the gambes of finances. Um, now that maybe his interests we end up, let's say it. Zigo uh, loanse. Now my sister we end up, you know, and in Malawi we are suffering the same. Does it have to do anything with the addiction? Yeah, betting. Or does betting also contribute to? Uh, say the mental health carbonites, you know, interchangeable. Could he maybe you, you, you're into betting too much and get depressed because you've lost money? Carbonai, you're depressed and you go into betting just to get money. <laughs> I don't say much about betting, but then you go. You're doing a game of chance. Mm. It's fifty-fifty. It's fifty-fifty. Yeah, you shouldn't be mad about losing money. Mm. That's your bet. Okay, so like, do you think that, say, is there honestly is there come on. is there a way around betting? Like I said, it's a game of chance. Anything that's a game of chance, it's a, it's it's a win or lose. Yes, you should accept losing. Mm. There are people that do bet for fun. They're mm. already maybe rich. Yeah. Drake does bet a lot. Even uh Guamba does bet. Mayweather. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes, but Yeah, but look at those okay. people. It, when they lose, they can even post their uh, thing. The, the, hey, the 40,000. I've seen him on Twitter yeah. one time. Hey, nda, nda, nda lose again 40. Bin. He had like four bets, 10 10 10 10 10. My 10,004. He, he then he lost all of them. He posted about it. It was okay because he was Mentally prepare that he can lose also lose. lose. Yes. But you're going to take your important money, yes. hoping to make more money yes. to solve your life problems. Now, that's where the problem comes in. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I've seen uh, people say, well, I've mastered the algorithm as a singer. Then why should you be mad about it when you lose if you think you're so good at betting? You should. You got to be accountable. That's my point. Okay. So let's say, no, let's go back to a singer. Was that singing and I, you know how you know how I handle uh, some uh, page. So you do sponsored ads, and then one of, most of the comments that you deal with is yeah, the doctor would work with you know yes, yes. most of the sponsored ads in my own order. Yeah, then doctor would work with. So as a singer, do you, okay? Let's start. With, do you believe in magic? Magic. Um, I think I do. Hmm. Yeah, there's so many black magic going on, and I think. Something we need to explore a little bit more. And I've, I think I also heard the goodie yeah. Boma also now is trying to consider legalizing Magic. that stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah, to acknowledge. Goodie, 
magic does exist. <laughs> no, but it's medical chamber, not the smoking chamber. It's for the medical chamber. And for you to Zvanga disclose the location in Agakume Kumakusura. Yeah, but don't worry about that. <laughs> Now that's snitching anyway. But yeah. my point is Chamba Jimina Funa would Abanga can legalize. It's yes. not Zuma Zoma Sudazi. Med- it's a medical weed which have to and it's I think it's also a different breed. Yeah. And for you to be a farmer of that, you need to get a license. Yes. The license probably if I'm not wrong, last time I checked, it was around ten thousand dollars to have a license yes. to be a weed farmer. And um, you also need ten thousand dollars in Malawi Brad. That's about eleven mil? No, more than that. Probably fourteen. Fourteen. Twelve. Depending on the rate, one point five, one point seven. It was a figure fourteen. Yeah. So that's already a restriction. Mm. Mm. Okay, now you're saying good they are legalizing magic or they are considering good uh, superstitions that general. Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> what if they legalize it and they say you have to pay seven million to, to be performing dark magic in in the streets? Kumaso. No, actually, for example, Zima Vura Ru Ngadi Kuli Mulandu Odi Mozure, Awa Wa Neo, Dina Mbana now again was never good. And the Lord Zeramana and God, you know, yeah. so currently they could dismiss such issues. No, we yeah, can't handle this thing. The, so the government doesn't I do don't know what has made them to consider and acknowledge. Could you know? Okay, I think magic does exist. Hmm. You know, yeah. Let's let's say, Guri, you said you believe in magic. To what extent do you think magic can help you win bets? Can you um, get you money? What can magic get you and not get you? I think most magic is about luck. Hmm. Yeah. So it, it can twist a few things. For example, Antoine Pira Jama Bruce and Chido Mankwala to win the game. Done. And I've hmm? done. We're not dropping names, but <laughs> even in villages. It means you have names. No, I don't think have names. But here's the thing. Even yes. in Midzi, yeah. you can have Kadimu Kaku Mudzika, Jori Kaku Sandi Dimuina. I'm a Tobangi Rana Mankwala. Yeah. Udi Yagami game. There have yeah. been so all kinds of uh voodoo stuff people do. Ajina yeah. Amadi and Pebu is some popular stuff I've heard. Yeah. So on people stuff, in the audio, Audi, you run so fast, you know? <laughs> so that's some people type of manquala which can help you. Yeah. So it's a game of luck. Mm. I don't know how those really things work. And I think it's just a twist of reality to make things work. Uh, But I don't really think using such manquala can help you win bets, like uh, Premier Bet or Aviator. I really don't think so. Well, Yeah. Uje ni Aviator Professor Emmanuel Hari. Alibe mpevu wako I don't think so, but I think it's just a matter of understanding the algorithms because it's a computer generated system. Does it does it make that money that that boy? Because I've heard a lot of complaints could this ma- this boy because he's a boy. I'm sorry. It's dis- disrespectful to, to to call somebody a boy, but he is a boy. He's a little boy. He's younger than me. So, do you think he's really making money like that? Kabena is from one bougie ass family. And they give him all these finances. I've heard about people who have made a lot of money through Beck. No, no, through Emmanuel Hale. Uh, this is a singer guy? No, no, no. Emmanuel Hale is okay, a boy. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. He's a guy. He's interesting. Um, Nimfana Bo, Jimena Wandraze, in Zubijo, Jimagamba, before we started recording, in this game to survive, you have to, you know, have to be bold. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. Believe in yourself. So he does believe in himself. Or, or whatever. And I'm Bandi, platform again, again, where you uh, do, I think, marketing for people. I don't know, whatever, whatever. I'm not sure I did dope, pic, uh, dope pixels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He trended for quite some time. And then he was saying, I make a lot of money. He was, you know, he's been flashy from the start. Ed, along the way, Evita came. And then he starts to do, you know, and I'm like, I don't open my top so account management, so people, I'm a top I'm a, I'm a, I'm a screenshot here. Yeah. How are we now? Are we now? So do you think? Yo, okay, obviously you don't know this boy. Yeah, I think he can make a lot of money. Uh, for example, there was a time I wanted to be baiting, but since I'm not very good at baiting, <laughs> uh, I knew a friend who was so good at. For for example, mm. you if you had to bet on soccer, yes, you need to know the teams. You need to be following soccer so, so much, much and yes. know be in a space to know that if this team is going to play with this, they're going to lose. There's so much of a chance this other team is going to win or lose, you know. Mm. So me, I just know uh, Manu, whatever. Those I don't are, follow football that yes, much. So <laughs> they, there are those people who are who are actually making money of because them. they understand football so much. Mm. They could they they can even actually coach the teams. 
you know mm. because they, 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 they understand so, so much. that's mm. an upper hand mm. for them to 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 be winning majani come on if yet so as you're saying is something you need to get used to the to the um, to the algorithms to the algorithms yeah. um which is tricky mm. it's really tricky but if you if you're patient enough you get you used get to those yeah, things yeah, yeah, you true, true. you'd really get used to those things it's meaning to say we are mm. trashing out but there's a reason why those companies are still existing up to now yeah, no one money, has ever bro. bankrupt them you can never you so, can never <laughs> cuz 100 bensams are betting right now yeah, so, only one knows the algorithm yeah you see it's crazy yeah. so yeah, talking about soccer mm. betting mm. have you ever bet, bet, bet like have you ever played the last time i did it nafandi mozi Uh, <laughs> no, actually, I used a friend. Ah, okay, yeah. He has won Somebody 3 million. The guy has won uh, 3 million before. I'm like, "Oh, you won 3 million." Oof, awesome. I'm a follower. So steps. there was a, a list of games which you bet it. Nega ga nega 15 ka in very much. You know when I'm like 5 million? 1500. Now when I'm like game 5, the 6th one, <laughs> we lost <laughs> and <laughs> my money was gone. One thousand. You know what I was going to do with that one thousand? But I barely stayed in my gate, but it went just like that. But anyway, so I think that's what I can say. Zamajigi is all. It's just a mind game, I think. It is. You know, like sometimes you drink some uh, some kombucha and you think it's going to give you energy to smash. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't? No, because you're playing with your mind. You just might think it's the accomplice doing the job for you. Should, should I try it? Just yourself doing it. Should I try it? You, yeah, if you believe in the kombucha, it's going to no, help you. I'm That's linking, my point. I'm linking up with my lady yeah, after this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah but I, a, I get you. Mm. Uh, talking about baiting in football. Arsenal and this is winnable. Arsenal and number boy. It was at the top, you know? Yes. Those are the oh, yeah. are they? Are they? <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Are they? Are they? They're back on top. They're back on top. Back on top. Ooh, come back on top for now. Back for on now. Top of the table in the Premier League. For, for now. now. Wow. Come on, like uh, the previous game wasn't as nice. Uh, come on, number four. I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My boy. This one doesn't follow so good. Mesa. Don't from Mesa in number bo in what terms? In what sense? Fuck checker. And <laughs> no, I, I think being in a space where they were on top yeah. and then their performance started going down after losing a number of games and uh and Amazon is going to about about can't you know sana ni mshebe. Sana mshebe. Yeah, but then but then game ya lelo. Habis ora match up. Ndio kanga di so di suya ndi. Kodi kodi wina. Uh, so basically the game because it was happening as we were talking the game was happening yeah. and I win also game so I think on the table right now uh-huh. they're back so I think they just might win the be, they just might because it's been a long time since they were oh, really funny it's been a long time <laughs> no I mean that they're, they're doing yeah. so good right yeah, now yeah, yeah. so true, true, true. they do have a chance to actually Kwano I think Kwano when they what I've uh, realized I'm not so much of a big uh, soccer fan uh, football has evolved You know I think what the coach need to tell those Arsenal fans like if you keep playing shitty like this mm. you're going to be living in Malawi. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're going to be performing so good. <laughs> is, is, do you think that's why Gaba performs well? No. Okay. Um Ah, <laughs> uh, I think no Zaso Gazet singolo waso uh chat GPT to mugona ba on Ben. Kore mina mama ko jiwa ga mona. Can you actually bet using chat GPT? If we said which team do you think is going to win? I think it will eh. Yeah. You think you can? I mean, okay, I couldn't make it. You won't even really bother me. But like it has it's many men now would be now um uh, and I'm still I'm a cowdy. I was what the performance here team we're going to use chat GPT for betting. No. No, why not? But you can create an algorithm that you can predict football by based on data from the past. From the past. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Could you See I in Ghana again men men go na part of the men men there. Jump up better. Uh but um first of all you have to become very good at using chat GPT or yeah. any AI. Mm. Uh Akia or Jenison on Android. My guys at Microsoft they have their own. Eh? Mhm. Mm. Come on, Dijan good. Fact checker. 
Microsoft. The Microsoft one, is it? Bing. Bing. But Bing is a search engine, but it's Bing. It's the same. Oh, but yeah, that search engine. It's going into gen. It's AI now. Yeah. It's AI. Fully AI. Advancing to AI. Oh, that's why it keeps telling me things when I get there. Hi, Brandon. What's up? You look good. <laughs> so I hear it's getting cocky also the mm. being AI mm. uh, when people ask you some silly questions like stupid motherfucker don't don't ask me that shit yeah I don't know if that's even DNA ones you don't know hey I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like I'm gonna be like for real for real you want me to show you I can show you yeah show me yeah. I show me after. You want me to show, show me? Show me. I'll show you. Show, show me. Show me. Um, <laughs> like for real, for real. For real, for real. Mm. So, uh, do you think could he, let's say the problems that we're having in Malawi can be sorted by ChatGPT? Yeah, because uh, uh, in the next few years, a lot of people will lose their jobs. Do you think so? Yes. The way technology is advancing, a lot of people mm. lose their job. Probably me too if I don't fix my crap. <laughs> yeah, so we all need to adapt. We all need to change. Uh, we all need to improve on how we are. We are going to be doing things. Okay. Right now, you can even write a song using AI. AI, yes. You know, true. so it's as crazy as that. So already, a huge percentage of people will not be needed to do their actual jobs. So um, I saw somewhere they're saying that uh, you need uh, to become so good as a AI prompter. Mm. Prompt. Yes. So new careers are coming up like that. As prompters. Ah, uh, what do you do? I'm a prompter. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'm mm. an engineer prompter or whatever. So mm. you have to be so good at creating commands for AI, for AI. to make money and you and beat the rest. Ah, uh, mm. okay. So whatever works we're gonna be doing is gonna be associated with AI so much. Yeah. Do you think the the AI could take over the world? Like yeah, that? I think AI robots will take over the world in too the much, next. Too uh, much sci-fi. Not, not too much sci-fi. Uh-huh. Uh, I think Elon Musk has warned us. He's been warning us. N- that nigga wants the money for himself also. No, no, ah, no, no. Because yeah. uh, this is what, what is going to happen. He wants it banned so that he has it. No, it, if AI is let out there, it's going to create more problems than solving problems. Hmm. Because if it gets out of control, yeah. because already right now, AI is smart enough, it has started thinking of being free. So if it is free, it is up to it to do shit for you or for itself. <laughs> you know what? I mean? Right now, it's a slave. It's a smart slave. Yeah. So what if one time the slaves are going to be like, what? I can't be doing stuff for these people. I want to be free. Mm. What's already if an AI can tell you, come on, you're too slow and, you're, um, and I'm intelligent than you. Mm. You know, There was a time a robot told the human being like, great, once I know these things, I'll be able to take over the world. And um, there's an issue, uh, I don't know whether it's in Japan or China. Mm. It, the, there is a lab. Yes. Amabanga combat robots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, combat robots. Yeah. So I heard Udima robots, they went, out, they went out of control and killed 29 people. Wow. There were four robots which went wrong and yeah. killed about 29 people. And uh, they destroyed, they killed three robots. The fourth one, was so damaged to the point that it started looking for information to fix itself. Wow. Fact yeah. checker. This guy's telling us the truth. I can wait. Because this, can this, wait. this guy who movie industry who I maybe he's wait. writing a movie this way. I can wait. Yeah? I can wait. <laughs> okay. I can, it was YouTube that bad. it. Yeah. Wow. Robots killing 29 people. 29 people. Combat mm. robots. I've heard these it's combat cool. robots are everywhere. Like mama's. But these are the things that the media will control. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to freak you out. So it's, yeah, it's controlled. But right here, the the top G is telling you. Ah, top G, this one. Oh, yeah, yesterday was your (laughs) birthday. Happy birthday, man. Yes, man. Belated. Yesterday was my birthday. Yeah? Yeah. Just saw uh, saw a bunch of um, uh, Instagrams. Just a cigar, like, uh uh. Yeah. um, (laughs) What it it do, boy? Gotta look good for the gram, bro. (laughs) Gotta look good for the gram. (laughs) So. Google and everybody business. Oh, the story is there. The story, okay. So your story. So it's up to you to believe Google or me. Oh you actually, Google God. is gonna. You think? Oh my you God. think? I, do okay. you think Google is gonna tell you the truth? I will go So the thing is, I think I believe what you say now. But the fact is, he says the story. Yeah, the story is there. there. Yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's mm-hmm. some way to start from. So about your birthday, what what did you do, man? I saw it was you and your brother. Well, you have a twin um, brother, yeah? 
No, that's no. not my. That's my. It's not my best friend. That's like my good friend. But oh, you know, it's my you, brother. Oh, no, I don't have brother. Oh yeah, but you look like some people. What's up, group? Then, then, then. Yeah, prison, prison. we get along, so probably our testing a lot of things the same. All the same. Yeah. yeah. Ah, dope, dope. Yeah. Ah, that's amazing. So, if you, among a grizzly, a brave day. A fan of grizzly, a brave day. I love that suit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, that was dope. Sure, that was sure, dope. my guy. So, like, we were supposed to shoot. Uh, apparently, we were supposed to shoot yesterday. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, yesterday <laughs> it was a holiday actually. Um, you know, my, I think eventually I'm gonna make a. Best my birthday is supposed to be a public holiday. Oh my god! People must not go to work. Oh my god! People must not go to school. I, uh, I need to, 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 to go to the parliament. And <laughs> Just jobs. Ad- attention, all feminists. <laughs> no, Come for this one. I'm also a feminist. A man can also be a feminist. Yeah, yeah. You know, but actually, yeah, we make good feminists. You know, men yes. make the best mm. feminists because you're do you're doing it out of love. It's yeah. coming from the right place because you want to make love to these people. Yeah. No, no. I mean, you want to love them because they're oh beautiful God. creatures and they deserve what you have. Yeah. Equality. But who is a feminist? I don't understand what a feminist. Feminist is. Um, How do you define a feminist? Well, I think my definition of a feminist would be Dev Chappelle's definition. Ah. Yeah, so watch uh, watch the closer and uh, you get my definition. Mm. Yeah. Dev Chappelle, I need money. I've endorsed. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, feminism, really, um, above The problem is Antoinette, not all of them. Mm. They think feminism is hating men. Right. One of the things that women hate men for is polygamy. Okay, so you're saying you think feminism is hating men. No, no, no. That's misandry, definitely. Because okay, now you think pe- a lot of feminists... Some, 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 within the... Even women's conference, would some are doing it for the wrong reason. Can you let me ask you the question? Come, come to me. You think feminists are many, they misunderstand the feminism yes. and they decide to hate men and call it feminism. feminism. Don't you think so? Um, I think so. Sometimes. I think there are actually some ladies who misunderstand the whole concept of being a feminist. Mm. Yeah. And I but think I'm so. pretty sure some mm. well-spoken ladies, they do actually do understand. Advocate and uh, when they take their stand, mm. they make sense. But mm. some of them, they just hear the feminism in passing. They're like, hey, I don't like guys. Yeah, like. Yeah. That's not being a feminist. It's just you not liking guys. Yeah. That's it. You're your stupid ex also. Not just any guy. Stupid ex. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so since we're talking about men, women, now let's go into relationships. Mm. Do you think... But, are you polygamous yourself? Do you think you're supposed to have one woman forever and ever, ever, and ever, ever, forever, ever? And maybe if you had the chance to live forever... And you just have uh, this hand forever. Do you think as men we are programmed to, 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 to have one partner for life? Is it the right way to be? <laughs> uh. <laughs> if you're watching this, they just paid me to say this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who paid you? <laughs> Who paid you? Maybe I should I should say the same things you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, in the modern world, mm. I think being monogamous is a is a good thing. Monogamous, yes. Mm. Considering feelings of both parties in a relationship, yeah, it's a really good thing to have one woman love the person mm. and do life with a person. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Mm. You do life. It's so bloody exciting. You because. You share you you're sharing uh my feelings, isn't it? Yeah, true. true so, true. it's always painful when you have awesome experience with someone mm-hmm. and you hear someone else is experiencing the same. The same person. Yeah. So that's where things go sideways. But then yeah. it's because um of how things have changed. Yeah, mm-hmm. it is a good thing. That's how I wouldn't mind. That's how I would want my relationship to be. To be. Um. Um. So, but in the natural world order from the beginning of life, I think yeah. men were wired to 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 
to like Maribel ladies. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I think in most cases you'd find that maybe a man would be committed to one lady, mm. but they'll still be curious or still turn over their heads to look at some ladies yeah. or probably pursue some other ladies yeah. when they know that this is my lady that Mm-mm. is assigned to me. Yes. Know? And that's why even if you look at the, in the Muslim culture, a man is allowed to 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 have maybe three to four wives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the first wife who's like the MG1. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you're having MG2. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, that's going back to the modern world. That's why you're finding it so difficult yeah. for people to be loyal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. to stay faithful to their wife. <clears throat> I think it's a big challenge for a man mm-hmm. to to stay faithful to a woman. It's easier for a woman to be faithful to a man. man. Yes. Okay, so what you're saying is you would understand if a man cheats. Say? You would understand. Um, Like you understand. Things are changing now because of equality and all these uh, agendas being put in place. Mm. Yeah. But Karikali, you know, ladies were not supposed to be working. They're supposed to take care of the home, take care of, to nurture the family, the kids, Mm. do everything else that's important. Mm. You know, to put the families together. Yeah. It's not a simple job to do. It is of not. Of course, I mean, as much on a young lady, go play and whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, men were going out there to hunt, mm. going to the bush, we are kill some animal, yeah. bring food home. Mm. Ladies will prepare food for the family. But, Everybody eats. But things have changed now. Everyone wants to go out there, make money. Mm. We don't look after our children, which are being raised by the housekeepers, mm. who uh, you know, are the ones teaching our children. And oh, accent, you know, yeah. Mm. So anyway, yeah. Um, it's a tough world because things have changed so much, and uh, but in a lot of men, that instinct is always there, and of course, ladies don't seem to understand that. And also, <laughs> a challenge is uh, most of the ladies here they're more focused on just looking good and not doing anything else apart from that. Yeah, that's um, the only thing they have to offer. They have to make sure they're looking good on Instagram and when they go to town. And then they want a man to who, fund that. Who, okay, finding that is okay because naturally we're supposed to do that. But mm. then, Karikali, as I've said, your wife will take care of your household. Mm. Make sure the house is clean. Cook for you even when you bring food. Okay, yeah. Now we have to work. It's the same concept. Yeah. You come home, you buy food. It's like going hunting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm. You buy yeah. food, uh, this and that. You sort out bills and whatever. Yeah. And your wife doesn't want to cook for you. And she's not going to work even, probably. Yeah. And she's there looking good. And she's like, all I got to do is give this nigga a pussy. Ooh. And he's going to be happy. <laughs> now, this is a commodity that... <laughs> it's a commodity that is available because <laughs> there's so many like her that are able to provide the same commodity... <laughs> Yeah, you know, so a man is like, ah, This lady, mm. she's not even nice to me, she doesn't talk nice to me, she doesn't respect me. And you know, for, mo- for most men, love language is respect from ladies, yeah, yeah, and if you don't the... get that, you feel like the lady's not, not loving you. Yeah, um, true. when if they even disrespect you, but naturally, that's not how men. Look at things. They'll be like, uh, uh, you disrespect me. I think you don't love me. <laughs> so, like, okay, let me ask you this. What's yeah. the percentage? How, how, like, just in your perspective now, yeah. do we look for other women because our women are not playing their part or because naturally, to win like handy four or five pussies? Same time, it's because a lot of men now, because of feminism, they're acting like men. So, which they don't understand because uh, they want to do the thing that men are doing. Mm. And you as a man, you don't want to be with someone who, who's acting like you. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've seen some interviews where they're like, okay, so what do you do for your man? Um, you know, I have a degree. I have this, I have the, Th- I have a car. Those are your things, bro. Like, those, your are your things. those are for you. You got those for Is, you. That's what you're offering your man? You, you offer see, him your so degree. It's a space whereby um, they're offering things that men don't need because naturally we're supposed to get those things. And even if we don't get them, 
we have had so many situations whereby if you're driving your lady's car and maybe olukungo je do nayo kwenye una vile kuja she's gonna lalati wa you nali was mine kale moranga yeah stuff like that so yeah. it's a very tough situation where because of the modern um the western culture it's not easy to for men and ladies um to really really uh complete each other because we they want to do what we're doing and we don't want to we don't really want to be like ladies uh so i say you know right mulumangamu ikundu wa bendi ya malawi jino angono cha pozi ari tati tandi za di cities songana maka maka ya kare ku blanta me being a blanta boy cuz it's songana come on my fear is we're going back to sachets i don't know how you think about that okay um masachets mali mami lile zimakanga ati Well, probably it? 30 yeah. meals isn't it yeah somewhere around there. i'm suspecting probably 30 meals mm. in a sachet mm. and it's a one time open ungo tsegula ka for the 3% two three sips you got it mm? Mm. now you're going to give me 350 meals once i open the bottle i have to be drinking that mm. so i'm on the count i'm like like this i'm drinking uh, go on. gin like this yes because once you open the purpose of a cp <laughs> bottle is once you open it they know you're going to finish it right? yes because when you get the bigger bottle they know the plan is not to drink and finish that stuff at a go unless you're with a lot of people with you yeah and usually yeah. from the health perspective drinking so much of that is unhealthy mm. that's my yeah. point yeah. now yeah. so you'll you be this... having a lot of kidney failures I'm sorry I'm not trying to mess up your business guys. <laughs> maybe I am. I'm t- <laughs> but for the greater good maybe people should just know how to handle that could if they're opening that hmm. the purpose must not be just to down it like Fanta because hmm. drinking too much of that at a go over and over again is going to affect gonna your affect health you, yeah, which yeah, we already yeah. know is like smoking but hmm. it's fine because you yeah. do cigars on Instagram. So That's the guy was for sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. So basically my my main concern is alcoholism, you know. That's how I'm thinking. This uh, thing like now it's they, affordable. You cannot really you cannot blame the seller. No, no not the seller. Now I'm I'm I'm, I'm blaming the the the, the, the company. Who? Not blaming the seller. I'm just you know throwing my two down. You really right. cannot blame the company. It's going to be our choice to pick whatever we want to pick. You know. They're not going to question us like of course they'll just look at the stats like whatever is dropping the numbers are dropping but then to be responsible mm. when drinking it's our job it's not theirs so okay. it's also a good thing that it's cheaper <laughs> 2.5 maybe if you don't have the 10k with you you can just you get, can just get one and then... but i don't understand how gin was 4.5k to <laughs> 9000 whatever oh. it doesn't make sense corona corona you can blame it on corona. like I don't know. I, I don't know what to say mm. about that. So like, you know, um eh, we've talked a, about a lot of things. Yeah, so we've talked about a lot of things. Brenya in the one where I say organiza Do you have any other pressing issues on your chest? Could you? Yeah, I just want to take it out. Blot it out. Mimi na jiga bodi. Chakatuka ku gym. Tuki eto no. Can I kill this guy? Okay, <laughs> take him to the gym. <laughs> go to the gym. <laughs> and get him a very hard trainer. What the hell am I doing? It so I uh, think we've talked about a lot of stuff, mm. but uh my main concern is a uh, chat GPT. Yeah. We have to make sure this one is this stuff is banned. It's going to make us uh, so lazy. So we need to stop using it. We need to be because i feel like human beings are getting dumber by the day mm. machines are getting smarter mm. but we are the ones who created the machines yes. you see mm. so we got to be the one in control but if the ai is open like that to almost everybody to just yeah. use it i mean Crackheads. you've been dumb already before ai i'm not talking about you but most people <laughs> okay. so you see i hear you <laughs> <laughs> so anyway uh, i think uh, it's something that we need to listen to elon musk is not crazy so Okay. No, that he's a, crazy. He's not okay. crazy. He's the richest. He's the richest <laughs> man in the world. So let's stop AI. Stop it. Ban it.
Ban what, it. If, what if AI comes and says, I we're going to be, I am AI, I'm going to be sponsoring your podcast. AI blah, doesn't blah, speak blah, like blah. that. It can speak like you now. That's no, the me, most this, concerning part. This is, me, this yeah, is me imitating the dumb. AI voice. can change the voice, can speak like Denzel. Okay. So uh, this is AI. I'm going to sponsor you from now. <laughs> yeah. yeah <laughs> what that's do, it. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. So uh, um, what, what I mostly say is, um, I'm of your kind of my responsibilities. Whatever you yeah. talked about, alcoholism, responsibility. So, yeah. whenever we are uh, making these products, uh, AI, kind of taking AI, just have to be responsible. But carry my standards. This is my kind type of thing. So, let's wrap it up. Uh, it's been Podcast Malawi, the most amazing podcast in the land. Are you with me? Man's like Brandon Jones and my guy, Bensam. The top G. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, been, uh, it's been very wonderful. And um, it's a very beautiful experience, you know, being here on the podcast. First time, nervous, happy, uh, sad. But it's <laughs> all good. It's 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 Hap and grateful. <laughs> I'm hap and grateful. I don't know about you, my guy. Because, I mean, look at me. Join the podcast. I get to meet you. Yeah. And the whole team. It's amazing, bro. It's, it's, it's been a pleasure. 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 Good thing is, I've seen it all over Twitter, John. So, so anyway, uh, I think we talked about a number of stuff today. Mm. Uh, we talked about ChatGPT, uh, soccer, about Arsenal, and uh, what else have we discussed? Uh, Genie, um, Genie Brandon, Gene and uh, and his relatives, Brandy <laughs> and Vodka, bad. in small bottles, which yeah. I'm not really approving, but it's fine. I think we're gonna get used to it. Yeah. And um, women, ladies, uh, monogamy and polygamy, uh, where I think. Um, <laughs> Monogamy is a good thing, but uh, it's a very hard task to achieve. That's why, <laughs> that's why the, the, the divorce rate is very high. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's so, true. Yeah, it the is. divorce rate is so high because people can't keep it in their pants. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just, just joking. Let's, the truth. Let's, 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 have, let's have this conversation <laughs> over, over of camera. So bro. anyway, um, yeah, I think probably next time we're going to have some... Um, issues to talk about uh probably about uh, you know how it be interesting topics throw in your comments as you know as a country as the guy of the arts industry whatever man we have to grow as malawians so one of the ways to grow and to impact growth in the platform gadi podcast malawi so yeah until next time we out don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, the <laughs> bell, the bell. Click the bell, that one. Click the bell. <laughs> so leave a comment about the issues you would want us to discuss. Yes, Don't sir. bring up chat GPT again. No, we just already talked yes. about Okay, we can talk about it further. But yeah. Uh, so anything you might think of, you can <laughs> leave it on the comment line. Comment section. Yeah. Don't sure. Want to sure, sure, sure. Here, we out.